I'm shaking. We got the house. We actually did, we got the house. What does this mean? <laughs> After spending years in Los Angeles transforming rentals into places to call home and even doing the same for family and friends, I was still daydreaming about one day renovating a home of our own. After months of searching and touring homes in my home state of Texas, we found it, the perfect house. But she needs a lot of work. So let's start at the beginning. Well, we are back in LA now after seeing even more houses, looking online and everything that is available and just kind of keeping an eye out for anything new coming on the market. I'm in love with the Comfort Cottage. I don't know how else to say it. I mean, I know it's still a mystery right now because it's not on the market. They still have to do an appraisal. It's not a matter of just submitting an offer or whatever. We actually went back and saw it, the house again and I love it. And we looked at some of the, you know, water damage and things that I had noticed right off the bat. Um, my dad is really good at that stuff. So he took a look at everything. I'm hoping that this is priced a little more reasonably. I know that there are other people that are interested. So we've heard from the neighbors and stuff. So I don't know, we'll see. I guess we'll keep you posted. Guys, I was about to start filming. I got an update from the realtor on the house. I know, I know, I'm telling them. We have been waiting weeks for them to set a price for this house. And I was kind of starting to give up. Like they were, I was like, they never want to sell this house. It's like a family house. It was, we thought that there would be a negotiation, but there's not. The realtor got back to me and said that they want best and final by 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to put in my best and final offer, what I think the house is worth, what I'm willing to pay for the house. And we'll go see from there. No regrets. Right? Right? Uh-huh. Yes. You're joking. Really? No way. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me know. I'm shaking. We got the house. We actually did. We got the house. What does this mean? <laughs> what do I do now? I gotta call. I gotta call somebody. Kinsley, we have to call your dad. Hello. Hi. What's good? Guess what? Huh? Guess what? What? We got the house. No way. We got the house. It, yeah. We got it. We were. Wait, are you kidding or being serious? No, I'm I'm like being serious. We were oh three people. We we there was it was us and then three other people and the other deal she told me now like that the other deal was the same offer. We decided to pay half the closing costs. We split it with them 50/50. That was the only difference. Wow. And then the other guy actually had a higher offer and pulled out like five minutes, 10, 10 minutes before she went to close. Like no way. She, they were like we don't want to be in a bidding war. We're pulling out. Wow. Are you being serious? I'm being serious! I promise! I promise! Okay, I love you. You have to call my mom. Bye. Alright, bye. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I have bad news. Oh, McKenna, I hate when you call me <laughs> like that. For real? No. It's bad. It's no. big? We got the house. You got it? Yeah. No. Did you really? Well, no, I was really? just kidding. I was just, I was kidding before, but now, like, for real, for real. Like, for real, we got it. Okay, wait, I'm confused, I'm confused. The only thing that clinched the deal for us is that closing costs 50-50, and that was your idea. I that was That was her idea, yeah. You do win a prize. Oh my you get to help me do a house. Are you coming home? Well, yeah. Halfway. Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll work on the project and then we'll have the house there. As of now, the plan is not to move there. Obviously, we're looking for a project that we can't live in while we're redoing it, so, and our lease isn't even up here for a while. So we've got time, but I'll be going back and forth a lot, working on the project. He'll be coming back with me a lot, but he has work here too, so we're just kind of like, we're in the interim right now, so. You guys, look what I got. <laughs> we just got the keys. Welcome to the Comfort Cottage. That's our new house. Are you excited? Super excited. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. I cannot. It's just amazing. I just can't. I can't explain. I love this doorbell. Let's do one of those cute, um, this is official home tour things. So go ahead. <laughs> 
Hi, welcome to our new home. <laughs> just kind of walked through by ourselves just to kind of remember what it looked like. It's very cold in here. The heater is not working, so that's it's very cold. I thought it would be fun to give you guys an official tour of what the house looks like now. And obviously, I have loads of ideas. We have known about this house for like a few months now. I've been daydreaming about things that I've wanted to do in this house, but let's do a tour. So you are in what now is the entryway, which was one of the things that I, why I fell in love with this house was this entryway and just all of the character that it had. This house was originally built in 1910 by what we've remember what they said was a ballerina they lived here their whole lives they did have to come in and re-level the house things like that and then there was an addition of the laundry room in the back um, as well in like 2004 other than that this is all original that we know of this beautiful door with a stained glass love the doorbell i love all this this is all such beautiful detail and then the doorbell is just the cutest thing i've ever seen <laughs> Um, okay, 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 okay. You know, wake up the neighborhood. <laughs> Throughout the, pretty much the whole house are the original wood floor. I believe she said it was pine, and then this was cedar. I have notes. <laughs> I'll put them on the screen. Um, but this whole entryway is just, it's very large, which they said that there was their living room, which I don't believe that for a second. Where would you put your couch? That seems very odd. All of the original wainscoting, almost a quarter of the way up the wall, all the beautiful trim in this area. And what got me were these transom windows, and I just love them. There's one here, there's one on the front door, and then there's one, I believe, going into the kitchen. It helps with the flow of air. First and foremost, what got me, when we walked in, I was like, oh, this is a pretty entryway. Oh my gosh, the ceilings are 12 foot tall, which it isn't uncommon for ceiling heights to be higher when these houses were built because obviously they didn't have air conditioning in 1910, so heat rises. So to help cool off the house in the summer months, it was it would rise up higher if you had higher ceilings so this is actually broken but it's a beautiful door with no no doorknob <laughs> but it's just a little closet with all this beadboarding inside the closet which is crazy and then first room that you come to right off right to the left right to the left of the front door is the first room and i think that this was one of the rooms they were calling a bedroom again high ceilings really old wallpaper that's somewhat falling off and the same wainscoting around the entire room. This is in here is painted white, obviously, but the other was all natural wood. I love the windows in here. Like they're tall, they're big panes. It's just, I love this house, you guys. Definitely going to be picking up these like carpet rugs that they have throughout the house too. Little no door closet. So this was definitely a bedroom if it had a closet in it. Then this opens up into a Jack and Jill sort of bathroom because there's two doors. It is so big and the ceilings are so tall. Look how look how tall I am and now it's pan up to the ceiling. Like high ceiling. They're definitely 12 foot in here as well. The toilet looks new in here or newer obviously and they've kind of made some updates here uh, but there's just these weird little areas like you know this little picnic table, little cabinet, storage unit here. And then, what's in here? Another little closet in the bathroom. <laughs> this goes out to the next room, yes. And then this door goes out to the next room as well. So there's three doors in this bathroom and two leading to the same space. So nice little bathroom. It's got all beadboard. Even the ceiling has beadboard on it. So this, but they were considering their dining room. At least they had their dining room table in here. All beadboard, again in here, original floors, beadboard on the walls, beadboard on the ceiling. This really, I mean, not so cute, but it's got a cane, a rattan ceiling fan. <gasps> That's cute. That maybe could be refinished in some way. Beautiful double pane windows here. So this is a two pane. It's beautiful. All the original floors. I'm so curious what's underneath this carpet. Like, where are they covering up damage or not so much? No, it looks good so far. If we can restore the floors in here, it make me so, so happy. I don't know what that is up there, no clue. Maybe something in the kitchen or something. So here's the, another transom window. This one's a lot smaller. And then this is built in. 
I'm sure it was added, but it's fully attached to the wall. But they probably kept their china in here. Pretty little cabinet that we can probably refinish and, and do something to. Because I'm so excited! I can't, I can't wait. And then you come into what is their kitchen right now. And it's, again, all covered in original beadboard. It's got a little more of a slope to the ceiling. I think this is where the pitch of the roof kind of comes down. Um, some very odd things are happening in this kitchen. It's definitely been somewhat updated because it's dated but still newer than 1910 cabinetry in here. They've covered, with the cabinetry in the kitchen, they've covered this huge window here. So you can see underneath that they've covered up like a quarter of the pretty window. Well, that's not gonna fly. That's not gonna happen for us. <laughs> Look at their light. <laughs> like, that is so weird. And then on this side of the kitchen, is this fridge actually isn't bad. I mean, it needs some cleaning up actually, but it's probably a newer. They were definitely living here. Are we keeping that fridge? Oh, uh, my mom said she wants it for an outdoor fridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then right here off the kitchen is the addition that they made so that they had the washer and dryer. Some shelving up here, it's got a sink and we believe that it's also wood underneath here, probably just not the same wood, not from the same era, but it's covered in this ugly wood. I mean, even, even in the kitchen, it's ugly with no lamb. Right off the kitchen, there's no light in here. We think that it's like a little craft room, like the realtor said that she had like storage of Christmas stuff in here and some other like craft type things. So she was like a crafter, like a DIYer maybe, like me. Um, but there's a lot of storage in here, but it's a very weird step down room. It's got, does it have wood floors in here too? It's got wood floors in here too. Maybe it's wood though. If we can reuse and relay out the house and reuse all the flooring, so good. Out there is a huge problem that we'll show you outside. That ain't staying, but no Romeo wants it to stay, but that's not staying. <laughs> I think you're kidding about it staying, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're back into the dining room. And then off the dining room behind the entryway is this very weird, I mean, I'm calling it a sunroom because that's the first name that came to mind. It's sloped, like I'm not even. It's very sloped down. <laughs> they actually, the realtor said that they actually had a queen size bed in here sitting over there in the windows, which seems super odd to me that that is it. So this was their second bedroom. I don't know. Very strange. I'm not sure what any of this is here. Like, what is this wooden piece? And this is why it's so cold in here. This window is broken. This is where you walk down into a fallen down roof hot tub. Like, what? All of the, the they had it insulated too, but it's all falling out, clearly. Ooh. Oh, open it. Yeah. Huh? Lift it up. You want, you want me to lift it? No. Okay. I mean, if you Is want it to. Is safe? <laughs> ah! Ew, it's wet. It's wet. That's disgusting. So it definitely rained in here. Oh, for sure. You want me to open it? Let's see what's inside. You want, I want you to open it. You want to open it? You open it. I'm not opening it. <laughs> Ew, it's full of water. <laughs> That whole thing's getting torn out. So this is just a little um, lean-to kind of room. It's not it's, it's not in my plan to keep this, um, but maybe we can salvage some of the windows and stuff like that. So that is definitely, because it was definitely an add-on. Because look, you've got a big window, and this is the side of the house. So maybe this was added on too, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Very strange things happened throughout the 19th. I guess. Okay, so this is also a room that you can access from the entryway, but also from this very strange room. You come in here, and this is another room of some kind. We don't know what this was for. Maybe this was actually their living room. It doesn't have a full closet. It's just like shelving in here, and it has a very strange non-working door in here too. It's a great size room. It still has 12-foot ceilings. So then you come in back in this way. You come back into the entryway. It's really it's just like my favorite, even though it won't be like this particularly once we're all kind of said and done with it, but such a, a vibe in the entryway. Okay, so I'm gonna show you outside. I don't think it opens all the way, so. <laughs> Let's see if we do. Ah! 
Okay, so got some trash that we need to get rid of. But this is the backyard. It's a big lot, which I'm very excited for. This is 0.65 acres total. This is our backyard and we have this little workshop. Let's call it a workshop. Well, we have like this little storage unit first, like this little storage shack. We need some old tools. A very um, dirty storage unit. It's just like a little, a little strange little storage unit. This is actually a really cool outdoor workshop, barn type um, situation, storage thing. You know what this looks like? Huh. From Little Rascals, their little clubhouse. Their little clubhouse? Yeah. The husband was actually like in masonry, um, so he fixed old tools and stuff. When they had the estate sale, they had a lot of tools and stuff here. It was his workshop where he did that. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> So yeah, so this was his workshop. This is actually a really nice workshop. Like all these tables and the shelving. Yeah, it's all like masonry stuff. Like he worked on machines. That's what he did. Here's his glove. He lift. <laughs> Ceilings are really low in here because I think they added a attic. There's an attic up here too. This whole barn workshop is actually air conditioned as well. So he worked in here quite a lot. I don't know, worked on something. Like, look at this. Had to have had something. Cool little shot. Yeah, he had to have something up here, right? I like the outside a lot. Like it's all like um, worn, or like worn, worn, like washed out. I like it a lot. We got an upside down weird table. And all this. I think one of the things that I like a lot about the outdoor space is that we've got all this row of bamboo on each side, which creates so much privacy, which I love. And then we've got the three or four beautiful pecan trees in the front, which I absolutely love. I love pecan trees. It just reminds me of growing up in Louisiana. We crack pecans open to make, what, pecan pie probably for the holidays. So I got a saw. Property actually goes all the way back to that last row of trees over there. And my dad came and marked the property off every 25 feet. So that's what these little, these little flags are back here. One more thing to mention is this great little porch, but definitely needs a lot of work. And this is that weird door right here that goes into that room that has no doorknob that should not be there. But we've got some great windows. Like, look how tall these windows are. I love them. And then there's one more back here right when you walk in. So the porch needs some work, but look at the little lamp. You guys, I'm getting excited about the weirdest things in this house. But I hope you guys enjoyed we bought a house, home tour. I'm so excited about all of the things that we are gonna do just to have a project that's going to be completely our own. My vision, I'm so excited. And that it's not a rental, that I can actually change stuff and actually make it something that's going to be absolutely incredible. I have so many ideas. I've already been daydreaming about all of the possibilities that we can do with the main house, maybe adding some other things to the property. And just, I hope you guys are along for the ride. So if you are not already subscribed, you should be because we are about to do some major renovation and restoring this 1910 cottage, 111 year old cottage back to its original glory, but also a little bit, you know, moved up into modern days. So I hope you guys are along for the ride. Romeo's behind the camera. <laughs> Kinsley is at my parents' house, so she's not here, but we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Kinsley, your butt is in the... <laughs> it's Kinsley, my regular life. <laughs>